awesome I could tell you about the connections between West African music and American banjo music, but we really don't have enough time, so you'll just have to buy the CD or buy my book, The Birth of the Banjo, to find out. But I will tell you this, that both the instruments we're playing are replica early 19th century gourd instruments, three long, one short string, uh, found here in, in, America, in the Americas, and uh, they're made by Pete Ross, Jubilee Gourd Banjos from Baltimore. And Pete uh, made that banjo for shake, of course, Shake's left-handed, so that's why we're mirrored here. He's got the fifth string on the top rather than on the other side. But uh, on, on this, well, anyway, never mind. Uh, the, you know what I mean. The, but when Pete made that for him, Shake tuned it the same way he tunes the four-string goni ba or the goni, and he said he turned to me uh, back. This is back before he really spoke much English, and he said, "All of my music fits on this instrument." <laughs> Good enough for me, you know, I was ready, that was it. So we're gonna play a tune uh, that's uh, kind of a, a good place to show you where all this meets together. It's an African-American banjo tune that we've changed around some, and we just call it From Mali to America, and it uh, goes 